Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got more TF2 commentary playing as a heavy doing some payload that I'm currently defending and I'm rocking the new primary weapon of course also the sandwich and the fists of steel but in this video I'll be going a little bit more in depth about the new primary as well as be covering the new update that has been released just now with a lot of fix fixes actually and nerves so I'll be going through them as well but first of all we're starting off with the weapon because I've been playing around with it for quite a well quite a couple of hours now and there has there have been some interesting developments uh, if I have to be honest with you because the ring of fire should theoretically be countering people with melee weapons especially spies but I found that if you are fighting experience, uh, experienced spies it actually does the opposite now hear me out uh, most spies if they are decent and if they are playing in pubs they will be using the the regular knife or the uh, the spicicle and of course the death ringer or the dead ringer nothing too out of the ordinary right there but if you use this specific weapon you can cancel out if you time it in time or you are caught unaware and you still are spinning up or deployed as you if you like you pretty much counter people with the spicicle if they get caught in the fire problem is the fire is not reliable whatsoever it as you can see it pulses and a, a good spy can still basically stab you if they jump up in time if they come from above or even if they just stand behind you the, the fire doesn't always apply to the target I'm not sure if that's a bug or not or it's the pulse and the latency in a combination or so but what I found is that the ring of fire is not reliable whatsoever nonetheless if we live with the philosophy that the fire is reliable and it does work sometimes you will see that during this video that people that don't use the spicicle but another knife and for example the dead ringer will actually get a potential a potential advantage from it now hear me out basically what happened was um, when I was playing on the reddit server reddit east coast there were some decent spies there and I hate playing against spies especially when I'm playing a, a slow class like a heavy nonetheless I was quite quite secure in the fact that I would be able to counter them because of my ring of fire what end up happening is they just basically run at me they stab me from the front and they still get a backstab I'm not sure, entirely sure how that works it has to do with latency and hitboxes I know but still it shouldn't be happening nonetheless it did happen or they just stab me sidestep me just stare stab me trick stab me whatever kind of stab they have in their arsenal they used it on me and they pulled it off and they did get uh, caught on fire but what end up happening is they, they, they used that fire to get out with their DR. They, they were able to trigger a DR because of that fire and get out before my team was able to track him down properly. And I was like, that's actually quite interesting. Which means that if you get used to people using this weapon and you are using any other knife than the Spicicle and the DR, then you can basically gain a potential advantage by being able to directly cloak after your step because of the DR. That's actually quite an interesting development I find, assuming, you know, living under the assumption that this ring of fire was able meant or able to cause fear in spice. And it ended up actually doing the direct opposite. So I'm not sure how you guys have experienced this weapon. Like I understand that this weapon also promote camping at dispensers. You're basically a, uh, an anti-spy burner or whatever. You're a, uh, a heavy bro in a way. And that's also interesting. It's unfortunate because I find this weapon to be a straight upgrade if the fire actually works. And you do have a bit of a penalty on your ammo. But if you are killing quite a bit and people don't really want to get near you. You can actually basically pick up the ammo from all the dead people. And you don't really run out of ammo unless you use a lot of spray and prey tactics just for the sake of it, then you will definitely run out of ammo, but you would have run out of ammo anyway if you did that, even if you used any kind of different weapon, or minigun I should say. So, it's a little bit unfortunate that this weapon does promote camping and standing still, which I'm always against, but it's actually, like I said, it's, it's a funny experience or development that spies can actually use this fire to their advantage if they are experienced so let me know what you guys think about this let me know what you guys have what 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 the spies think of this weapon because i hate playing a spy 
And I can understand that this weapon would be very frustrating, but if you are one of these spies that has seen this pattern, or has abused this pattern, if you like, to their advantage, let me know what you think and post it in the comment section below while we move on to the tweaks and the fixes and the nerves and all kinds of good stuff, which I actually called out and expected within 24 hours, as I uh, stated on Twitter last night, or yesterday night, I'm not entirely sure what the time zones are anyway. Nonetheless, the following tweaks or fixes or nerfs have been happening. Um, there has been a bug that crashed servers that has been fixed, uh, which is pretty much something that always happens. Also, by the way, if you look at the screen right now, oh, that was embarrassing. Like, I was eating a sandwich, always eat a sandwich in the corner, but I was just having my back against the wall, and that spy gets me, and nobody gets that spy. It's like, why? So, that was a slight embarrassing moment for me, but nonetheless, moving on to uh, the nerf for the red tape recorder. The red tape recorder was extremely overpowered, and it should have been nerfed, and is in fact nerfed, because the downgrade speed was 1.6 seconds. Now it has been increased to 3 seconds, so almost double. But I still think that it's going to be very frustrating and very overpowered in the sense that you can basically nerf sentries all the way to level 1 without too much of a fuzz. And this nerfs engineers quite a bit and negates sentryness or makes them a lot less, well, less dangerous. And I'm eager to see how spies react to this and how people, engineers, react to this, but we'll see that in the future. Also, a little fix for this specific minigun, the Yulong Heatmaker. Uh, apparently, it was not consuming additional ammo while you were firing. So, the 6 second, uh, or at least while you're deployed, the 6 ammo you lose per second wasn't happening while you were firing. And this is in fact happening, this is in fact also after the patch. So you can directly tell how much ammo I'm losing a second while I'm shooting for you guys uh, who are wondering about that. Also, apparently fixed building health compounding after being downgraded, which I believe is in reference to the fact that you could uh, downgrade your sentry and rebuild it and then stack health upon that sentry. It was a bit of a, uh, a bug abuse that was going on on that. So I think that's the fix for that thing. Also, some teleporter fixes with the directional arrow on the, um, the entrance, or exits I should say, apparently. Also, the cleaver is now available in medieval mode, which was to be expected, just like the huntsman and everything. Also, lollipop chop sound has been fixed. And, of course, some miscellaneous items have been uh, fixed when it comes down to clipping and such. So let me know what you think about these nerfs. Let me know what you think about this weapon. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.